Hey, welcome into Dom Time, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's our weekly roundup night where we take a look at all the things that are happening across the area, some of them national, international, big, small, or whatever, whatever we think we're interested in, and hopefully you are, and bring in a pundit from the area or two to break these down. Phil Herring is our pundit du jour. <laughs> Phil is the editor of the Delco Times, somebody I've been on some noteworthy shows with. <laughs> Phil, welcome to Dom Time. Thanks for joining us. Dom, thanks for the invitation. Pundit, I, I kind of like that word. I have to watch myself there. Journalist now. pundit. Yeah, so there yes. you go. Absolutely. Uh, Phil, a big story for the area, I think. We're just starting to see this, and I think it's a bit overblown, although I love it and I'm going, is out in Delaware County, and that would be the U.S. Open. Now, the Inquirer's gone down a little bit. I'm not sure what the Delco Times yeah. has said. On last Sunday, it was $100 million was driving to our area. Pots of gold. Yeah. Now it's down to about $70 million. But you're right out there with all the hotels, yeah. all the stuff in Delaware County. Tell us what it's like at Ground Zero. Uh, it is a tremendous economic driver for the region, Dom. Mm -hmm. And it is the last numbers that we've heard are somewhere in the vicinity of $90 million. The important thing is... The hotel rooms across the region are 90% booked. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to get a hotel room. To give you an idea of just how much trickle down is involved in this, it's being held at Marion Golf Club in the Ardmore section of Haverford right. Township. It's in Delaware County. They are, because of the logistics of this, they were parking on remote sites. One of those sites where you can get a free shuttle to take you right to Marion is at Rose Tree Park in Upper Providence. The borough of media has wisely, I think, decided <clears throat> to build an entire program next week around, or this coming week around the open. What their hope is that they're gonna have all these people who are parking their cars right outside town at Rose Tree Park. When they come back to their cars at night, they're gonna come in town to eat. They've got, they do a program called Dining Under the Stars every Wednesday night in Media Borough. They shut down State Street entirely and they put tables, all the restaurants put their tables out in the street. Mm -hmm. They're gonna expand that to go Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. They have events at Media Brilliant Theater. idea. Well, that's America's most patriotic yeah. mayor, Bob McMahon. There he is. Also that's a restaurateur. Yeah. In the media, that is a wonderful yeah. example. And a lot of these people are going to see the region and hopefully come back yeah. at some point. That's a bigger driver Well, they looked the at the, some of the numbers that they had in terms of, this is obviously, it's an international event. The number of eyeballs mm -hmm. that get focused on the region, the things that uh, are available here, uh, Brandywine Visitors and Convention Bureau mm -hmm. is going to maximize pushing the idea of the Brandywine Valley, everything from the Brandywine Museum out in Chad's Ford uh, right in. Uh, all of that is great. There are some things that are also to, still to be talked about. We talked about the idea that this is a little unusual in bringing, everyone has talked about the idea of the, the open, which has become a huge corporate right. event, and bringing it into a very small, they're actually calling it the boutique open, into this old style course. Mm -hmm. And if, you, if you've ever been to Marion, it is literally in a residential neighborhood. I went in 1971. I had to park four miles <laughs> away back then. I remember I was a college student and I walked. Now I'm going this week and I'm told I got to park out in, all the way out in Province Township or wherever. One of the things that we're going to be very interested in finding out is just how difficult it's going to be to get people in and out of this site. Mm -hmm. The recommendation is for most people don't even think about the idea of driving in there. Use one of the remote lots. But it's interesting, it's something we had talked about before we went on the air, and we actually have talked to people in the neighborhood. A lot of people in the neighborhood rented their homes, getting yeah. unbelievable prices, but some people stayed. And what they, it's a great analogy, they, what they're considering it is almost a summertime version of a big winter snowstorm. They went out to the they went out to the supermarket. They've got bread, milk, eggs. They've loaded everything. French up. toast. They're going to stay. Paper, they're going right. to stay in their house and right. sort of uh, hunker right, now, down. Now here's the thing we need. Uh, the Inquirer Daily News hasn't got it, but you're out there in Ground Zero. You're a journalist. How about a Tiger Woods sighting? Where is he? In camp, do we know? Everyone wants to know where Tiger was. It's funny because when he came in a couple of years ago to Aronimink, when the, right. his tournament came up to Aronimink because they had shut down Congressional for work, we actually did know where he was. We don't know exactly where he is, but he's real close. Uh, he's not, uh, he's not uh, trucking in and out of uh, Haverford Township every day. He's, he's not going to be hitting the bars <laughs> in Marion or any of that type of stuff. So uh, are you a golfer? Are you looking forward to it, Phil? I am, yeah. I am the, the best of both worlds. I am a golf nut, and it is obviously a huge, huge story for us. So we have a full team. We started out there today. We'll have coverage on DelcoTimes.com, mm -hmm. updated during the day. We'll have video presentations. We'll have uh, reporters right. on the scene writing stories. And the important thing for us is not 
you know, to be honest with you, we're obviously tracking the tournament right. and who wins, who loses. But to, as important to us is this whole idea of what it's doing in the neighborhood, how people mm -hmm. are reacting, how people are getting around, how bad the traffic really is. So we'll see. Well, I hope that we don't see the angles. I mean, to me, this proves the political side of it. The one percenter, there is a trickle down occasionally. Oh, yeah. It's not always yeah. foolproof, but the trickle down maybe to the little guy, hopefully, and all kinds of things that go on. Yeah. That's a lot of money to be slicing up. We had a, a story in the paper today. One of our uh, sports uh, desk editors, right. Tom McNichol, right. uh, did a first-person story that ran in the paper today. He actually caddied in the 71 Open at ah. Marion. Grew up right down the street uh, from mm -hmm. the course. So we have his memories that sort of kicked off our coverage today. Good stuff here. Now, Phil Herring is out there. It's not all Delco County stories we'll be talking tonight. <laughs> But we'll talk about everything that's in the news in our weekly roundup. That's coming up. More with Phil Herron, our weekly roundup on Dom Talk.